Hi, Grade 5. It's Miss Simos again, just bringing you a quick update on the ELA Student Work Packet. So it is Friday, so you should be working on Lessons 5 and Lesson 6, okay? We chunked these two lessons together just to make us able to get through this packet a little bit quicker, and these aren't too difficult to do, all right? So I'm going to switch so you can see my full screen, all right, and we'll just go through them, okay? So starting on, starting with this lesson, right? So this is page 32 and it's all about context clues. And there are three different types of context clues, right? So we have the definition, which would be, for example, superfoods or natural foods that may prevent disease have become popular. So in this case, the actual definition of the word superfoods is in the sentence. Another one that we have is cause and effect. So it says some superfoods, such as blueberries and red beans, so it gives you an example, contain antioxidants. These can help remove harmful substances from, from the body. So it's saying the word antioxidants are things that help remove harmful substances from the body. Okay. The last one, the last type of clue that we would see would be comparisons. So in the sentence that says some experts look dubiously on claims about superfoods, but other experts believe strongly at these superfoods. So we know the opposite of dubiously is to believe strongly that they can improve health. So that will help us figure out our word dubiously. All right, so moving on in this packet, we are, if we scroll, okay, so same thing that we did, I believe, on Monday. Um, it says to determine the meaning of the words, so these words in bold, and then underline what helped you figure them out. So you're going to look at these words, but you need to be underlining what helped you figure out the words, and it's going to be in the sentence. So this first one, for example, it says some fads are fleeting, but more than a few people feel that superfoods are here to stay. So in this case, if we're thinking, okay, what type of context clue is this? We have this word, but, and that's going to give us a hint that like at the top, it's going to be a comparison, right? So we know the word fleeting, it says, but more than a few people feel that they're here to stay. So what does the word fleeting mean based off of the explanation, all right? And you're just gonna keep reading through and doing the same for the words empirical and panacea, all right? Moving on to the next page, right? We have a short little paragraph at the top of each. And then underneath we have two questions. So questions one and two relate to this paragraph. Questions three and four relate to this one. And you're going to read the word in the sentence. It underlines it for you. You need to figure out what it means. The second question on each of them asks you which two words help you figure out that meaning. Okay, so again, looking back in the paragraph, trying to figure out what details help you figure this out. Moving on to lesson six on our packet. Uh, and remember, at the top it'll have lessons, but these are out of order. So if you look at that first page, or if you look at the schedule that we gave you, um, this is technically lesson six, okay? So same thing that we were doing before, figuring out unfamiliar words um, using context clues. So this gives you a very short paragraph, and then from there it's going to give you three different words, okay? So it gives you the word shelter, donation, and the word benevolence. So it gives you the context already. Right? It tells you right where in, the where in this paragraph it is. So if you look at shelter, the context is build a new shelter to protect our pets. So if that's not enough context, you need to go back and you need to figure out where is this word in a sentence. So in this case, it says, can you help us build a new shelter to protect our pets? So it's giving you where it is. Your job is to figure out the possible meaning now. So over here, you would say what a possible definition of the word shelter is in this sentence and figure out what clues helped you figure that out. So if it was the words protect our pets, then those are the words that you need to put for your clues. You know that to a shelter is something that maybe protects animals. And you're going to do the same thing for the other two words. 
Okay. Um, that is pretty much it for these, but just thinking about these academic words at the bottom, we have academic vocabulary, we have subject area, topic, and context clues. So those are all things that we have been working on. Um, so just want to say bye. Really nice job. I hope you guys are working through these. I know some of them are a little overwhelming, but I'm sure you guys are doing a great job. Definitely reach out to your teachers if you have any questions or anything you want to tell us about these packets. Put them in the comment section down below. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure that you're checking us out every day on YouTube, checking that Google Classroom and looking on Class Dojo. All right. Thank you for watching this. I really hope it helped and we'll hopefully see you guys soon. All right. Bye.